All right, so in this video, I want to talk about the capsaicin flexuosum. This isn't it right here. I got to cut that out of there, but I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it in there to re regulate the moisture in the plant for now until this plant could get strong enough to come up. So, give you a closer look at it. This is the only plant that came up in about 20 or 25 seeds that I put in here, and this plant roughly took maybe a month and a half to two months before it finally sprouted. I was getting ready to give up on it, just dump it out in the back garden. I'm glad I waited because sometimes these pepper varieties can take as long as two to three months to sprout. So this one actually sprouted and I actually got one plant to come up. Now a couple of those might still come up down the road two months from now. They might pop up later. So I'm not going to disturb too much of that soil. I am going to wait till this gets bigger and I'm going to repot it. But if this plant is not going to produce fruit this year. I can most certainly guarantee that. Uh, I will have to winter this over and repot it before I bring it in for the winter and then let it grow indoors. But I just wanted to give you an early look at the capsaicin flexuosum sprouted. It has to be that pepper. There can't be no other seeds got in there. That has to be it. Uh, the capsaicin flexuosum is generally a, a marble sized pepper, a large marble. They're generally yellow in color and the seeds are black but small. So it's a very interesting variety to grow, but very, very, very difficult to start from seed. So hopefully we can get this plant up and going, and then I can provide you with fresh seed, and then you'd be able to grow this as well. But we have to start somewhere, and I am really lucky to at least have one plant from the capsaicin flexuosum grown. So I will give you updates once this plant develops a little better. Hopefully it doesn't damp off and die. Hopefully it keeps going. And then once we get to that point, we'll, we will give you an update. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, so I want to give you a little update on this. I'm going to add this to the original video. I'm going to try to consolidate this into more of one video. I'm not sure how many videos I shot on this, but I'm going to try to consolidate it into one video because they're just little updates, and I want to kind of put it into one video rather than putting out 50 videos. It's just too much work to do that. But again, this is the capsaicin flexuosum as you can see it's getting nice and big and it's turning out to be a beautiful plant and i can't wait to bring this in for the winter and get it under lighting so i can control it a little better and hopefully get this thing you know over a foot tall by spring and then that way when i bring it out next year i will get some fruit off it one of the odd things that i'm noticing about this plant is that the very surface of the leaves are beginning to develop i don't know if it, the camera is going to pick it up It's developing hairs on the surface of the leaf, which I never really noticed before in other plants. Again, I don't, th I don't know if you can actually see this. You know, it's hard for me to... I don't know if you can see it, but there's little hairs, and they're kind of pointing off out in that direction. And they're like all across the surface of the plant. Sort of like a pubescent, but on the surface of the leaf only. The rest of the plant seems to be pretty standard. So, just want to give you a quick update on that. I'm adding it to the other video. And that's it. I'll see you, I'll see you in a little while. I'll update you again once this gets a little bigger.